Hey everyone, it's ya boy. Bad lighting and generic background back again. Hey everybody, welcome to Project Cringe, a Dragon Ball texting skit that I just really want to do. Uh, it was not because I had a project and I thought I might attempt to be funny and then fail miserably. No, but actually, uh, I just want to say that Tixing All Dragon is a real problem, and the skit will be a lot more lighthearted, but there will be serious moments. Whenever you see me with my suit and the setup, I'm going to try and be more serious, because it is a terrible thing that is really plaguing. That was a poor choice of words in the modern climate. Uh, it has infected our everyday lot. Oh, it's still bad. It's like a virus that just spreads from her. Oh no. We should be writing over the fact that this is still. No, not good. Not good. So, yes, I want to welcome you guys to my skit. Hope you guys enjoy my skit. And remember, don't text still driving. You're gonna get someone killed. You're gonna get yourself killed. Hello. My name is Adventure Kerma. And today, I'm here with a public PSA announcement. That's a weed laughter. In this world of modern wonders and strange internet trends, we often forget our more modern problems that we have to solve with today's day and age. Every day, over 660,000 people will attempt to use their cellular devices while driving. Lucky for us, humans are utterly useless, and most of them probably fail at their attempts. Today, I would like to show the driving of one man who texts while driving. These people tend to think that they are superior to everyone because they can afford a Tesla. They are the type of people who grow naturally only in LA and Seattle. These are also the type of people who would have a skin color. Monstrosities. And with that, I would like to introduce you to my good friend, Brian. Hey friends, I have no one in my base. Ha ha ha, good story. Brian is not admitting to having anyone in his basement. You have beautiful eyes. I know I do. And for any of you arguing that it's not against the law to text while driving, new cell phone laws dictate that you can pay 30 to to $100 fines for texting while driving. These laws will come into effect on the 6th of June, 2010. Nothing I say is ever out of date. The studio always keeps our budget high and our morale low. The state is simply one of maturity, not an old. You date old people? No. Ugh. So, that Adventure Karma dude made me vlog instead of vlogging all of my car trips for the next week. What does he know? Like, vlogging is just so much more expressive than vlogging. Like, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's get going. So I wrote it in the back of my hand. It's hollow now. Don't throw out my Legos. What if I come back home? What if I can't let go? Throw out my Legos. What if I come back home? What if I can go back home? I wanna move out. I don't wanna move out. All right, we're here, guys. I'm gonna go into the store. Hi, guys. It's me, Ryan. I'm back again. Are you guys ready to go on an adventure? We're gonna go back to my home, and I'm going to blog this entire thing. Oh yeah, now this is my jam. Turn the music off. Car noises, car noises, vroom vroom, car noises, vroom vroom, brake noises, brake noises, coming to a stop noises.
<laughs> Acceleration noises. <laughs> Car noises. Vroom, vroom. Whoa! Oh gosh, oh gosh. Car noises. Vroom, 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 vroom. Car noises. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, vroom, vroom. Car noises. Ha! Acceleration noises. Stop noises! Alright, everyone. That was my vlog of my car trips. See you next time on my blog about my car trips. Hello, everybody. Uh, last night, I'm sad to inform everyone that Ryan was involved in a texting while driving accident. Now, more than 3,650,000 ,000 people here are involved in texting and driving accidents. Out of those, 3,285 will die. Never see their family, friends, or pets ever again. They will be taken untimely from all those who they loved. Luckily, Ryan was not among the statistic. He did survive, and so did the people he had, which was a family of seven, out of which five did have severe injuries. But luckily, no one died. And that is not at all because of company policy on showing gore. But he will now have to foot $25,000 in medical expenses. He does not have this type of money. He drives around town in his van and calls it work. There's no way he'll be able to afford his five baguettes this month. But in all seriousness, if, so, if someone like Ryan was hit and they had to pay that much, who knows what could happen. He probably will not be able to afford rent. He'd probably be able, barely be able to feed himself. And he could very well go homeless. People have had that happen to them. Now, when we started this, we told Ryan to vlog his car ride so that we could see if texting and driving really was a big deal. Unluckily, last night, Ryan suddenly got a hankering for carrots. No, we do not know either. However, luckily, we are a pretty sketchy company, so we placed hidden cameras in the car just in case something like that would happen. Uh, dude, isn't that like a felony? Let's go to the footage. Ugh, I got... This car starting noises. How does she want? Acceleration noises. Vroom, vroom. Car noises. Car noises. Car noises. Car noises. Vroom, 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 vroom. What does she want now? Red light noises. Red light noises. It's green. Red light noises. Red hey, 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 uh, uh, are, are, are you awake, Mr. Ryan? Um, I, I, I'm so sorry to bother you, but I, I, I have to deliver some bad news to you. Uh, you did cause several severe injuries to a family of seven when you crashed into that motorcycle. Uh, luckily, no one was killed, but the youngest daughter did have her arm severed from her leg. It, it was quite nasty. Uh, 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 they will be suing you for your expenses. Uh, that, that, that's about it, but, um... The, the doctor asked me to tell you that you should really focus on driving instead of looking at some memes. It's... You could have killed someone. Uh, yeah, huh? What was that? Can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here. Communicate using this. Is my is my clipboard just a notebook on a clipboard? 
No, 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 no. Why would it? Why would it be that? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, am I Adventure Karma? Oh no, I'm not him. Uh, you can tell by the mask and the hat, they're different. We are completely separate characters. Yeah. Okay, bye! This can kill you. This is a calculator. Wait, what? how did this get here? This can kill you. This is a knife. We're not talking about knife violence today. Why do I have this? This can kill you. What the heck? Wasn't this just right? I swear someone's sabotaging me. What the heck? This can kill you. This can also kill you. Both of these right here are cellular devices. They are phones. Um, they give you information. They let you contact people that you normally would not be able to contact. They do a lot of great things for people. They are also some of the most dangerous objects in the world. Let's, let's talk for a moment about why texting and driving is bad. I just want to start with some, some statistics. One out of four crashes are due to distracted driving. Now that doesn't completely mean texting while driving. Texting while driving is a major part of distracted driving. Let's say that every person see that every person, including you watching this, sees on average uh, two car crashes a day. On average, some people won't see this, some will see more. I used to live in Houston and drove a lot. I saw a lot of car crashes. But anyways, now, if everyone sees if everyone sees two car crashes a day, that leads up. You'll see almost 700 crashes in a year. And over 180 of those will be texting and driving crazes. Every single one of them could have been anybody. First question we always have to ask when talking about texting and driving is why? Well, in the base, it's selfishness. They want to be able to look at their phone, they want to text. But apparently they also want to live with the fact that they are willing to kill someone because they just really want to see that text from Aunt Mary. That text from Aunt Mary is just so important to them that life doesn't matter. Now you might be thinking, well, dude, you're being overdramatic. You know, maybe I'm making a big deal of Maybe, uh, you know, 3,285 people a year don't die from distracted driving. You know, but yeah, I'm being overdramatic. Definitely. Even if no one dies in a crash, you still really impact people's lives. People have to go through trauma therapy. They basically go back to kindergarten. But they really learn how to do everything. They can't speak. They can barely walk. They have to relearn to do everything from the start. Some lose limbs. They take scars of them that will live for the rest of their lives emotionally. They suffer because of you. Because of your own selfish wants and desires. And you too aren't going to walk away unscathed. You could die could be six feet under because of one small decision. You could lose your life without an arm. You could lose all your ability to drive. You could lose all of your arms. You can't text anymore. Well, your problem solved. Can't ever be on the road again if you don't have any limbs. So why? Why would someone do this? They're selfish. Because they want to think that they are better than everyone else and they deserve and it will never happen to them. Yeah, well, nothing ever happens to anyone until it does. Everyone thinks that they're immune, that, you know, like, house break in, sickness, illness. It's all something that happens to other people. No one ever happened to them. That happens to them. 
and they face the consequences. And a lot of the times, they aren't ready to face those consequences, because they aren't prepared, because they never thought it would happen to them. But you have to remember that those things that happen to someone else, everyone thinks they're immortal, but we're not. We're all gonna die, and it's really up to us, kind of, to choose the way we do it. If you want to die as someone so self-involved, so selfish, it's so wasteful of human life that he's willing to rip families apart, to kill children, and leave their parents waiting at home, never to see their children again. If you want to die like that person, if you want to orphan some kid, go ahead. Text will drive. Kill someone. Kill yourself. That's the consequences. I'm not going to say it will necessarily happen to you. There's a high chance it will. At some point in your life. And every single time you do it, it's more likely that you'll die. But this really is it. You're throwing away lives. You can die. You can kill others. All because you can't look away from your phone for 10 minutes. You could even just checking your phones at red lights could save so many lives. Just remember that when someone decides to text and drive, they made the decision that they're willing to let people die who have children at home. People that have parents at home. People that will wait by the door, waiting for their loved ones to come back. But they never will. Because you decided that you were so much more important than everyone else. So then he took the credit card and he just shoved it up in there, like right into that giraffe. His leg was everywhere. It was so confusing. There was so much cooling. That's why I am never going to France ever again. You need severe mental and psychological help.